In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a couple different things with Active Inspire flip charts. I'm um, will try to go kind of quick, so you might need to pause the screen, the video as you go. One thing you can do with any file is upload it to your Google Drive. So you can do that with a flip chart. The problem you run into is if you try to open it from your Google Drive, it cannot open a flip chart file. So it will ask you to download it, which you can then do and open an Active Inspire. But if you want to use the information in the flip chart and just give it to the students, then one thing you can do with that, just open up a regular flip chart here, a random flip chart is you can convert this into a PDF file. One way to do that is to go through the print screen and down here it says to export to PDF. So if you click on that, then it will allow you to create a flip chart file and that flip chart will, well, I'm sorry, a PDF file and it will contain every page from your flip chart. Another thing you can do is uh, you may want to convert it into a PowerPoint or to a Google slide presentation, in which case each sheet would be a separate slide and then maybe you could add some animation back to it through one of those two uh, programs. So in order to do that, one thing you can do here is go to File, Export. You cannot export it as a Google slide or as a PowerPoint uh, anymore. So what you would have to do is you can convert each one of the pages into a PDF or into a JPEG file. Uh, we're going to do JPEG and I'll show you why in just a second. So then it's going to ask you where to save it. I'm just going to go to my desktop. I'm going to just create a new folder, new folder to put it in and select that folder. It's taking all these pages, which happens to be 44 of them and putting them into that new folder on my desktop that has each one of them, each page listed as a JPEG file. Now what I can do is go to PowerPoint, open up PowerPoint and I can import each image as an object, uh, one page at a time, into a separate slide. But I don't want to take the time to do that uh, individually. So one way you can do that, by converting those to JPEGs, you can create a photo album. So if I click on photo album, album, do a new one, go to the location that I just saved it. So if I go to my desktop, find the new folder, and then I can click on all of those files, those images, do it as shift and it will select them all and it puts them all in right here. So now I can create a flip chart with all 44 of those pages or I can check them all or I'm just going to check for this video the first 10 pages. Then click create. So then it takes each one of those JPEG files and it creates it as a separate slide in my PowerPoint presentation. And once I have it in here, I can do different things to it. If I wanted to change the background, and you know, make it white so that it all flows together and apply that to all of them, I can do stuff like that, whatever you want to do there. Then I'm going to save this. I'm just going to save it to my desktop again. Let it name it photo album. And I'm going to close this out. So now I can go back to my Google Drive and I'm going to upload that photo album that we just created. So it takes a few seconds to get up there. So now I can open this, either double click on it or right click and go to open with. If I just double click on it, it gives me the option to open this with Google Slides, which I'm going to do. So now this PowerPoint is being opened as a Google Slide and it will save it in my Google Drive as it opens here. So now I have this, and if I want to add different things to make this Google slide presentation a little bit more interactive, maybe I have something on one of these pages that I want the student to circle. I could add a shape, maybe make it a circle. Just add that to the item, make it transparent, and then the student could drag that circle over whatever the correct answer would be. So that'd be one way to make this back to being interactive because you lose that interactive feature once you convert it. So then we can go through, go to file, save as Google Slides. So give it an opportunity to save it as a Google Slide. And so now in my Google Drive, I have both items as the photo album as a Google Slide and as a PowerPoint. Hope that helps.